Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new product bundle on Amazon. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. What I'm about to show you applies to Amazon FBA sellers or Amazon FBM sellers. In my case, this will be an FBA product, but I'm not quite ready to send it in. So what I'm going to do is start on the process of creating a listing. And there's a couple really important things you need to understand. This is not something that you can just fire off in five minutes. This really takes a while to get it right. And actually, the first time I attempted to add a physical product bundle on Amazon, I did it wrong. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the right way to create a product bundle on Amazon. And let's get started. The first thing you need to do, log into Amazon Seller Central, uh, search for product bundling policy, and read this. Be sure that you're reading the product bundling policy or product bundle policy. Do not look at the virtual bundle. That's something completely different. Product bundle policy means you're taking physical product. And in this case, th this is the bundle that I'm going to be creating. It has multiple elements. Most of these are already available on Amazon. They have ASINs and uh, this one has an ISBN or you know UPC code. So this is the bundle that people are going to be purchasing have all those elements ready but also be sure you read the product bundling policy because there's some things i didn't know which almost really tripped me up when i attempted to do this the first time so um there are specific policy requirements about amazon uh, bundled products you may not list bundled products where the primary product in the bundle is from the video games category or is a book music or dvd okay so that's pretty straightforward my bundle does have a book but it is not the primary product it's like a supporting product and kind of think of it like like if let's say you were getting uh some sort of uh you know like a musical instrument and it included a guidebook or a music book this is kind of like the similar idea to that um and, and then it says there's other things you may include these other items um and you know it, it gives the example of a yoga mat that included a dvd and a book okay uh, the referral fee for the primary products category applies to the entire bundle. All products must uh, comply with Amazon selling policies. So there's a lot of requirements you have to go through even before you get to the nuts and bolts of creating a, a bundle. Um, and so and I can't go through every single one of these, but just suffice it to say, please read them through. Please read them through carefully. Don't go blundering into this uh, trying to create a bundle and do it wrong because the risk is that either the bundle will be rejected or there will, some other problem will come up, um, particularly if people look at the bundle on Amazon like customers and then they, they what they get is not what they expect. So uh, what I really took a look at, what I was very careful with, was the bundle titles and also the bundle product details and images. The titles is confusing. Amazon lists three separate ways to do a bundle title and I had to choose like which one really applies to me. So, for instance, the ba the very basic level is like, uh, you know, uh, if you just have three simple items and there's no dominant item, you could say three uh, bundle, three items, tote bag, knit scarf and gloves, blue. OK, but in my case, I have something that's more like this. So they give an example of a camera with batteries and a carrying case. So this is the second way to do it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward bundle. It's like just three items. But if you're bundling a lot of stuff together, it has to follow this format. Okay. And they give a formula to use. It has to include the main product title. So that's a dominant product in there. You have to say bundle with bundle component summary and then number of items. So there's a, this is partially for clarity, I believe. But I also believe that some of these requirements, like if you say bundle with, that's going to trigger something in Amazon, the way its search algorithm works. So it will properly surface your item when people are searching for something that's related to that. Or if it's being shown alongside other items in like a product carousel on a detail page. OK, so they give an example of a, a guitar bag with a bag stand and accessories and 11 items. So uh, this is a little bit confusing. I had to read it over several times. I had also had to keep in mind that there's a maximum 200 characters that you could use. So what I do is I use an online word count tool to uh, determine if something is the right length, if it's under 200. 200 characters. You can also use Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So this particular one, you know, you just paste it in and it shows you, okay, this is 80 characters long. So in my particular case, I, I have a separate um, metadata file. I also use uh, spreadsheets for this. So here is my bundle title. Let's see if it fits into 200 words, 200 uh, characters 
And yes, it does. So I'm within the limit and I'm, I'm glad about that. Okay, and then there are the bundle product details and images. And this is kind of deceptively short, but they're actually, it's really important. Feature bullet one has state the product is a bundle of X number of items and must identify the products in the bundle. Now, the problem with this is if you have a big bundle with lots of items, that's gonna be a long bullet. It's not really a bullet, it's more like a paragraph. And indeed, when I created my uh, bullets, I had to rewrite the full first bullet. I tried to make it as short as possible and be accurate as possible to describe what's in there. But that was a little bit tricky. And uh, the description has to say the same thing. So it's it's kind of like it's repeating what's in the first bullet, but okay, that's what they want, that's what I'll create. And then the main image for the bundle must include the specific products and can't include anything else. So as I already showed you before, I have the bundle image. This is all the items that are in there. This is very accurate. People aren't gonna be getting anything more or less than what's shown in the picture. So I'm meeting that requirement. Okay. so. After you've read the bundling pro policy, you've created your metadata, you have your images, you're all set to go. Go to Amazon Seller Central, click on catalog, and then select add products. Okay, so uh, find your products in Amazon's catalog. In this case, this is a branded product. I'm the, I'm the owner of the brand. There's nobody else carrying this thing. No, it's impossible to find it anywhere else. So if you search for the UPC, you're just not gonna find it. So I'm adding a product that's not sold on Amazon. So let's see what they say. Um, we found a listing that was started but never finished. So this is actually the one that I, I said I created before, but I didn't I didn't accurately follow the bundling policy. So I just uh, I stopped doing it. So I'm just going to discard that one, and I'm going to start again. So the problem is with my products is that it doesn't really fit any of the categories that Amazon has. So I just choose the one that you know Amazon helped me pick some time ago to select that. If your product was in a category that's you know that you know what it is, just use the search function on the previous page and find that. Okay, uh, generate listing con content. This is Amazon's AI tool to basically create a listing for you. I don't want to do that because first of all, I don't trust it, and secondly, uh, I I'm paying attention to the product bundling policy. So the item name, I'm just gonna get that right here and just paste it right in. All right, I don't like the red the red the red uh, line around there the product have variations no the brand name it's this and the external product id so i do have an external product id and that is a upc code or g1012 i got this legitimately through uh, gs1 and i'm going to paste that in there and then i'm going to select it is a upc code all right so it likes that next i'm going to go to next Okay, product description. So they were very specific about that and I already have my product description all set. And I'm just gonna paste that in. All right, I, I don't like that red. <laughs> if I see a red rectangle around it or like these uh, red exclamation points, I'm kind of suspicious that I've done something wrong. Uh, but let's see what happens when I start to add more information. So the bullet point, as I said before, Amazon's product bundling policy is very specific about what you can do, what you can't do. So I'm going to paste this in, see if it likes it. Okay, add more. I have more bullets. And keep on adding more. I think you can do five bullets. At least that's what I've done in the past. And this is, as I said before, you should already have this prepared because if you're just kind of firing from the hip here and just making making stuff up as you go along, you know that, that's not going to be good for customers. It's not going to be good for um, Amazon SEO. So you want to make sure that you do this right. And these, by the way, a lot some of these bullets I'm reusing these from other other uh, products. Uh, so okay, uh, images upload multiple file files or drag and drop one or more files below. So. I, already, I do have images ready, so let's see if I can just use them. Okay. So I think the first one here is... Okay. So one thing you want to also make sure is that the images are big enough. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, actually, I like this one better. So I'm going to use the PNG version. So this is the main image. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to drag and drop more over there. And where did I have that? 
So I have to find the other parts of this and let's put this one in. And this one. So I'm going through and I'm adding all the different elements. Actually, this one, this is the main element. So I think I'm going to, one thing you can do after you've added these pictures, you can basically move them around. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then I have this one. And there's one other thing I'm looking for here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so these are all the elements. These are the elements that I want to include here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one to the very front. I'm using these move image left arrow. So that will be the that will be the second image. This is the main image. This is the second image. And then this is the kind of the dominant item in the bundle. So I want to make sure that that's near the front. And then, oh, I forgot one other thing. I forgot the book. And here we go. All right, so all the elements, this is exactly what it is. Um, try to make the images, of course, as, as large as possible within Amazon's um, style guidelines. All right, so I think I'm good there. And I'm gonna click Submit. Okay, so I'm getting an error message. There are 25 items that require your attention. Click OK button to find the first item. So what's gonna happen here is Amazon is going to tell me that I need to fill out more of this metadata. So the number of items, the uh, color, the size, all of these different things. It's going to be tricky because, for instance, the size, it really varies depending on the item that we're talking about in the bundle. So I'm going to try have to try to work this out as best as I can. It's probably going to take a couple passes to do it right. Uh, but I'm going to have to go through this and try to match these, match these uh, requirements as best as I can and then make sure that my bundle is my bundle listing is live. And once it is, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up the offer and that's the price of this particular item. And then I'm going to be checking off one of these boxes for fulfillment channel. As I said, you can do this either FBA or FBM. I'm going to be doing FBA. Uh, so Amazon will ship and provide customer service. And when I check that off, Amazon will say, all right, um, you know, later on you can you can send in the items to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. I have many videos that show how to do something like this, but this is a new item, so I have to get the description and the listing ready first before I can send in things to Amazon FBA. In any case, that's the summary of the how to set up an Amazon product bundle. I hope it helped out. If it did, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And if you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official website, click on blog or video at the top. I have tons more free advice on how to get the most out of Amazon. Thanks so much for watching.